we're not expecting to see anything that could be deemed as sensitive grand jury information. That, that will not be uh, um, any, anyone at the White House. Everyone who, caught, who talked at the, to Mueller from the White House did not talk to the grand jury. But we're talking about folks who were involved in the prosecutions of, uh, of Michael Flynn, uh, of, uh, of Paul Manafort and others, the, the, Russian, uh, uh, the Russian hackers who were, who were charged by Mueller. Any, a lot of that underlying information is, is the sort of thing that we might not see. Um, particularly derogatory information about people who are not charged as well, who are not the president that uh, the Attorney General Barr said he would redact. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of leeway there, exactly reading the tea leaves, what will and won't be there. We're expecting a lot, but um, it's unclear whether or not those, those expectations will be met. Well, from Democrats, they're going to say they want to see the full and complete unredacted Mueller report. That's not going to change. That's been their position for the last couple of months now. They're going to maintain those arguments. From the White House side, we're going to expect, and the president's legal team, we're going to expect them to declare victory one way or the other, even if, there's, even if there, there is derogatory information that is released there, they're going to be claiming victory. It's not going to change a whole lot. The question is, where do those two sides move from, from here? Uh, once those two reports, dueling reports are released, um, this is a political fight and one that will extend for some months, maybe even a legal fight down the road. They're going to try uh, to, uh, to, uh, to delegitimize uh, the document produced by, by the special counsel. Um, from a factual basis, that, that doesn't do anything to, 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 to do that. The Robert Mueller was the, sort of a, the special counsel appointed through a legal process. But in the court of public opinion, in the, in the sort of the political battlefield where this is, will actually be fought, it's the sort of political weapon that you, you'd expect to see by, just by this delaying action on the part of the, of, the, of the president, on the part of the attorney general, in terms of releasing the summary, then the redacted report, and then even as Democrats try to push press for the full report, even if they if, even if they never do see it, or even if sometimes they sometime in the future they do see it, it will feel like old news to most people. That is the the strategy from the White House side, all through this, and the president's legal team is to try to make it, extend this process closer and closer to the 2020 election, and that they can make this appear to be uh, that Democratic charges uh, that Democrats looking to see uh, the underlying report, the full report, unredacted report, will seem like they're playing politics.